Bollywood has churned out a biographical sports drama that talks about gender equality. Amir Khan stars in the movie Dangal, which means a wrestling competition. Amir plays Mahavir Singh Fogat, who teaches his daughters about wrestling and helps them win medals at the Commonwealth Games. The story is inspired from a real-life situation. We spoke with the director just a short while back, Nitesh Tiwari. Take a listen. We're joined here by the director of the Bollywood movie Dangal, Nitesh Tiwari, who's going to talk a little bit about this epic movie and what it means for Indian cinema. Nitesh, thank you so much for joining us. Talk to us a little bit about this movie and uh, why is it such an important story that you wanted to get out there and share with your audience? See, uh, the reason why I think it's a very important movie is because it uh, touches a uh, lot of sensitive topics uh, in a very uh, poignant manner. Uh, the topic of uh, girls being not treated as equal to boys, uh, it's giving a message out there to the people which basically it says that uh, girl, girl child is uh, still you know in some parts of the country uh, unwanted you know, and people crave for boys. And the film goes and talks about these women achievers, Geeta and Babita Pogat, you know, who brought glory to the nation. You know. And the film basically says, you know, if you give equal opportunity to girls, they do have the talent uh, to shine and bring glory to the nation. Also, it talks about a man's resolve, you know, uh, something of a self-belief. Uh, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your dreams, uh, no matter what the society says, you know, you stick to your guns and uh, chances are that you'll emerge victorious. So it, it does talk about many important things, but most importantly, I think the reason why it's uh, finding an audience and uh, finding immense appreciation is it, because it does it so with a touch of humor. So people are getting entertained. At the same time, they, they are taking back home a very serious message. How similar is it to some of the other movies? Earlier this year, we saw another movie, uh, Salman Khan did, uh, Sultan. Uh, there's been uh, some possible comparisons. Is there any similarity to that movie, or did you have to change the storyline after watching that movie? No, we didn't have to do anything uh, because we were aware what Sultan was all about. Uh, we, we were in touch with the makers of Sultan, and I had a meeting with the director of Sultan uh, just to uh, thrash out if at all there are any similarities. We might not, uh, we never wanted to end up hurting each other's project. So uh, there was never a similarity, you know, but uh, still, you know, uh, there were comparisons which were bound to happen in the minds of the people who were not aware what the Sultan was all about or what Dangal was all about. Now people are walking out of the theater and saying it has got nothing to do with Sultan and which we knew any which ways. A lot of people have praised Amir Khan's performance in this movie, saying it's one of his best to date. The film is open to our rave reviews. As a director of Dangal, how does that make you feel to see that such early on the responses are already uh, very stellar? It's very heartening, you know, because uh, you make a movie with a lot of conviction, a lot of hard work. Everyone does that, you know. Uh, and you can only hope that uh, people will walk into the theater with expectations and their expectations will be met, if not exceeded. You know? uh, what's happening with Dangal is that I think it's finding connection with everyone. You know, from a young one to the old one, it's it's found a universal appeal. You know? And the kind of objective which we had set out uh, before the movie, we had uh, before we started doing the movie. You know, uh, we knew that we are having something which is very good on paper. And this is what my discussion with my team had been. You know, if we can achieve 80 percent of what we have on paper, we have a good product on hand. When we were ready with the film, we were kind of confident, but there's always a sense of nervousness, you know, which comes uh, into you what or how are people going to react you know but now two days have gone two and a half days have gone and the kind of uh, feedback we have got is more than overwhelming you know it kind of makes you feel very good you know, because what you wanted to communicate is getting communicated and at the same time you know a lot of praise is pouring in and for everyone you know it's it's not just for uh, one person i think everybody's effort is getting recognized and lastly, you know, for Amir Khan, he had to uh, change his body structure for this role, gain weight, and, you know, quite quite a difficult, uh, you know, transition that he had to make. How difficult was that, and uh, how did he go about that? You know, was that a challenge for him to uh, sort of get into shape? We know he's done that before for other movies like Gajani and things like that. How was that uh, process like? So I think with the Dangal, it was especially very difficult. 
very difficult for two reasons you know out here he was putting his health at risk he was not building body you know he was bulking up putting on weight and uh, he's done this kind of stuff in the past you know uh, and the only niggling factor here was but nothing stops him was that he's no longer that young he was much younger when he did those things you know and your body responds very positively when you're much younger your body behaves very differently once you start getting older you know and uh, it was not really very healthy for him to accumulate so much of fat you know his uh, medical reports went for a toss you know which caused uh, health concerns in all of us uh, but you know how passionate he is you know he didn't stop uh, the toughest part was not uh, gaining weight the gaining weight was the easier part he munched up on anything which came his way and we drank a lot and had a lot of good parties uh losing was a difficult one you know because uh, he himself uh, kind of uh, had this niggling doubt you know i'm 51 now you know i have done it in the past but i don't know how long will i take to do it now i can do it you know he knew that he can do it but he was not sure that how is his body going to respond and how long is he going to do it how, how long is he going to take to do it you know but then he's known to surprise all of us you know uh, I didn't see him for two months, uh, two and a half months, uh, and last I saw him was when he was a like a Santa Claus, you know, uh, and he came back looking like a wrestler, you know. Uh, of course, you know, he had just lost the weight, the bulking up and muscle building was still required, but still, you know, he was he looked so drastically different, and uh, I mean, it requires immense passion and commitment and dedication, whatever you call it, you know, uh, but. Not easy at all, but hats off to him. You know, he managed to pull it off. All right, Nitesh Tiwari, the director of Dangal. Thank you so much for your time. That does it. Our interview with the director of the movie Dangal, which released on December the 23rd, starting Amir Khan now in cinemas. Archit Tashadri signing off.